Oh, it's Rob here from Woodward English. How is everyone? Yes, I'm currently live here in New Zealand for everyone around the world. Today, we're going to have a type of quiz like, how good is your English? But we're focusing on one of the topics, which is, <laughs> I forgot to put the silence on. <laughs> That's, yeah, that happens sometimes. <laughs> if you heard some like dum -dum -dum music, that was me. <laughs> anyway, uh, I was going to go say hello to some people. When you arrive, please say hello. For example, we have the wonderful Lolly Lolly. Hello from France. So glad to be here. Thank you for being awake at such a an early time. I know in France it's like two or three o'clock in the morning. It's awesome that you can be here. And it's like, hello, teacher and everyone. Who else we got here? We also have Anna. Happy to watch your class again. Hello from Los Angeles or Los Angeles, or I said in Spanish. <laughs> Los Angeles. <laughs> Sounds strange saying it like that. California. Um, what I said, just making sure. So this is what I have. You got something to drink while we're doing this live stream? Okay, the, the actual lesson itself begins in like about two or three minutes. I just wait for everyone to come in and say hello. So, who else we got there? We have Ganesh. You have to tell me where you are. We, we're, which part of the world are you in right now? I always find it fascinating. Of course, we have the wonderful Angelica Bredo. So good to have you here. We have Valeria, no, sorry, Valeria, <laughs> Valerie, sorry, from Colombia. We have from Andrea, from Atlanta. Keep on bringing them in. Let us know where you're watching from. So you may have noticed that this week um, the quiz was a, something to do with do versus make. And I did some mini lessons during this week, and I have some more coming up this weekend and on Tuesday. Wednesday, I think, or Monday, you know, your time, Monday, Tuesday. Um, just uh, very short lessons or only a few seconds and everything like that, but I hope you've been enjoying those. And we have, oops, this is where it starts going fast. So Ganesh is from India. We have um, Iden from Bolivia. It sounds like, are you in a wrestling match right now? I'm from Bolivia. <laughs> and we also have from South Sudan. We have Marta. The number one for hello teacher from New York. And we have Giovanna for also oh, got someone else from Colombia. Luis also from Bolivia. We have Silvana from um from Salta in Argentina. How has everyone been? I was gonna change some quick banners and things to do. This is it. Learn English, do versus make quiz. Have you seen the lessons about do versus make? Have you seen the little mini lessons? We also have a complete lesson. I don't know if Ange can put the link in the chat or anything like that about do versus make. It's like about eight, nine minutes and it's complete. You don't need any other information. It's all there. Who else we got? Anyone else here in the chat? Oh, just waiting. It's got something that's just been deleted. Ah, there it is. Hello from Larissa. Also, welcome in from Gibraltar. I know it's really early. What do you have you got some coffee right now? Or probably not the best thing at like one o'clock or two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> okay, we're gonna begin. Let's begin the fun. And let's go here. I'm going to one second. Begin with the first one. Are you ready? If you can write the complete sentence in the chat. It'll be better because those are the ones I can put up on the screen. Because if you just put like do or make or did or make, whatever, uh, people don't know what it's referring to. Oops, here it is. We have Luz Solar de Varona, who's a Cuban in the, in the United States. Cool. Marco from Italy, from Italy. Italia. Ciao, Marco. Uh, we also have, uh, it's 3 a.m. de Larissa. And you have your coffee at 3. Did you wake up? Or are you still awake? <laughs> are you like, oh, I'm an early riser. It means I get up early and I, yeah, 
it's early. Just so you know, the people that are based in Europe, you know, in Italy, Gibraltar, <laughs> There's only two places in Europe, Italy and Gibraltar and France. Sorry, Lolly. <laughs> we are planning to do a live session earlier, especially for Europe. And of course, Africa is in the same time zone. And that will prob probably be Sunday's your time. It's not going to be this Sunday, but maybe the next one or the one after. We will see. But just so you know. Oh, great. Ange, put it in the, uh, a link in the chat for the do versus make. Oh, good. It does go there. Thank you for that, Ange. Really appreciate it. So we have um, Laura, or oh, another one from, from Colombia. <laughs> I woke up. I often sleep too little. <laughs> yeah, so it's the do versus make in English. What is the difference? That's what the link was. Now, let's begin. Let's go straight into action. And let's go for the number. Are you ready? Number one. These are very simple. If you've been paying attention to my lessons this week. <laughs> I'm a very good student. I always beep my homework. And in case the YouTube algorithm is like thinking, why is there a beep? Is he doing swearing and things like that? Sometimes. <laughs> no, it's just a part of the quiz. Thanks, teacher. I appreciate that. Yes, because we're thinking of our members and all of our favorite people. We also have, whoops, here it is. Rob, another favorite person, Jorge from Chile. Yes. Okay, so where is that? Here it is. I'm a I'm a very good student. I always beep my homework. Who's gonna write the complete sentence so I can put it up there? We have Tanya, has it correct? Anesh, Silvana. Of course, we have uh, Wagnerok from Sao Paulo in Brazil. Good to have you, mate. Um, aha. Nicar Ooh, Nicaragua. Nice. Okay, Lolly has it. It is due, but we need the. Ah, here it is. This is. I always. Here, yeah, look at this. Thank you. L <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> I was getting so excited. <clears throat> Someone actually put the complete sentence. <clears throat> uh, Liliane, I always do my homework. Exactly. I always do my homework. Now, just so that you know, we have, is it this one here? No, this one. Aha. Remember, on our video, we have this chart here with the different moments that we use do versus make. So, Ange. She already put the link in, the, in, in the, the chat. I'll put it in, it should be in the description sometime. So if you ever want to know, these are three times that you use do for work, jobs, and tasks, non-specific activities, uh, replace verb when obvious. And make is for basically the rest. Basically the rest. Okay. So, yep, there it is. I always do my homework. But that's good. Are you ready? Are you ready for number two? This one's easy. If we don't beep a reservation now, we won't get a table. Uh, how can I get my view? Here it is. Ha, there. Wow, I need to have a shave. I do. We, if we don't beep a reservation now, we won't get a table. What goes in that sentence? <laughs> Teaching how to lie in English? Shh, that's how secret. <laughs> Oops. Um, yep, yep. Lots of people have it correct. Uh, yep, Luis, that was the last one. I'm a very good student, so I always do my homework. But who's going to write the complete sentence? Oh, it's a bit hard. You can't do the copy and paste from the screen. I'm sorry. <laughs> With a reservation, what do you do? Everyone seems to have it correct. Oh, I love these viewers. They're so intelligent. I love it. <laughs> you think you're not able to take any quiz? This is easy. You need help. Don't worry. You should have seen our videos this week. So everyone, who was the first one? We have Larissa in Gibraltar with make. Also got make. Yeah. I'm waiting for... Someone, if we don't, ah, thank you, thank you, seven, 
Here it is, seven dogs. If we don't make a reservation now, we won't get a table. No, we won't. Hey, great to see you, Andrade. Andrade, also awesome. If we don't make a reservation now, we don't. Oh, sorry, we won't get a table. Did I say won't, won't or don't? I can't remember. Let's go have a look. Here it is, yeah. We won't get a table. What is to get a table? To get, remember, has many different meanings. In this case, it means obtain. Obtain a table. Um, if we don't make a reservation now, we won't get a, ta a table. Exactly. The next one. Yep, thank you, Luz. Also, if we don't make a reservation now, we won't get a table. Number three. Uh, where is it? Going to number three is... Oh, did you hear that? That was my stomach. Roar. Sounds like a velociraptor when it's angry. No, a T-Rex when it's angry. Roar. That's what my stomach makes when I'm, when I'm hungry. So what am I going to do? I'm going to beep a sandwich. And don't put buy a sandwich, please. This is all do and make. This is, I'm going to... <laughs> steal a sandwich from the fridge and workplace. <laughs> I'm going to, no, you are going to prepare the sandwich. So what do we put there? Do we put do or make? Let's have a look. Going to the answers there. Um, here it is. Exactly. Andrade, make a sandwich. Miguel also, make a sandwich. Thank you, Lolly. I'm hungry. I'm going to make a sandwich. Exactly. Because we use make when, let me see if I can do it. No, no, here it is. So we use make for food, drinks, and meals. You make a cake, you make breakfast, you make dinner, you make lunch, you make a cup of coffee, you make a cup of tea. Okay. So it is make a sandwich. How many do you have correct? Three from three? Should be three from three. Next one. Oh, here it is. If people go, okay, I'm hungry. I'm going to make a sandwich. Oh, yes, everyone's right. Thank you, all of you wonderful people that actually do the complete sentence because it looks better on the screen. Okay. Next one is number, what are we at? Number four. Can you get four out of four? I hope I beep well in the exam. While you're there, one second. What is, what is your answer? I've got that on silence. Just making sure my thing's on silence here. What's your answer? I hope I beep well in the exam. What's your answer? Oh, these things that appear on my other screen. One second. Perfect. What's everyone got? Waiting for the comments. Sulma from Venezuela. Hello. Dude. Ooh, Miguel. Yeah, you do well. What else we got? Do, do, do. Thank you. There it is. Ha ha. Thank you, Lolly. I hope I do well in the exam. Why don't we say I do good? Why don't we say that? I do well. I do good. Good is an adjective. And well is an adverb. Whenever we have a verb, I speak English well. Speak well. We use an adverb. You don't say I speak English good because we have a verb plus the adverb. And good is the adjective. And the adverb is well. So you always do well. You can also do, what's the opposite of do well? You can do badly, terribly, horrendously. But that's, you're watching me now, so it's not going to happen. You just, awesome. Do, do, do. Ah, I've used this grammar card with my students. It's so awesome. Thanks, Andrea. Oh, <laughs> Wagner, I hope I do well in this quiz. How many do you have correct? Do you have four from four? I hope I do well in this exam. Exactly. Okay, next one. These are easy. Just checking. 
Um, <laughs> I'm going to make a say, do, do my best. I'm trying to do my best. Okay, next one. Number five. It is difficult to, it, 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 it is difficult to bib friends. That actually sounds terrible <laughs> when you're, when, when, when you're shy. It is difficult to, I'm, I'm a shy person. Seriously, I'm very shy. You don't believe me, I know, but it's true. It is very difficult to bib friends. What? Hurt friends? <laughs> no, it's difficult to <laughs> visit friends. No, it's not that one. What is the, what's the answer? It's difficult to hurt friends. <laughs> Uh, it's difficult to visit friends, prepare, uh, it's difficult to, let's have a look, waiting for all the answers, oh, here it comes, I can see it on this screen, my screen, ah, here it is, thank you, Andrea, it is difficult to make friends when you're shy, because in English, the expression is make friends, okay, oops, where is it, here it is, it is difficult to make friends when you are shy. It's true. Because when you're shy, it's like you just, I don't know. Yeah, it's just sometimes difficult for some people. When other people, it's like, hey, I'm in the room. Come and talk to me. No, you're not coming to me. I'm going to go talk to you. I'm shy. Are you shy? What's the opposite of shy? You can be like really shy. It's like, oh, I don't want to talk to anyone. But what's the opposite of shy? Someone put that in the chat. And it's difficult to make friends when you're shy. Yep, awesome, because you make friends. Yes, Andrea, the opposite of shy is outgoing. You can also be, and the opposite of shy is ec extrovert. Just say no. Or you can also be talkative <laughs> or party animal. <laughs> <laughs> or American. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> some 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 people are sort of outgoing. And oh, what was I saying? Yeah, extrovert. Yeah, that, that's the one. Now, next one. That was uh, it's difficult to make friends. When I hear that, like making friends, it sounds like Frankenstein. You're like getting body parts from different places. Like, do you want to be my friend? And you've got someone's arm and a leg and the body and the head it doesn't mean that it means yeah you're just making friends not physically constructing okay number six i get distracted a lot number six is this i beep this activity i ignore this activity ah no sorry i beep this activity many times since i've been here remember be careful with the tense just so you know make sure you have the correct tense it's not just do and make it could be did, made, done, made, and whatever. What do you think it is? What do you think it is? And just want to here. Special thank you to the Woodward members for supporting us while I'm waiting for the answers. Really appreciate it. Helps a lot. Helps me have this software and everything that I can use. Okay, let's have a look at some of the comments. And hey, Hamilton, good to see you from Curitiba and Brazil. It's 10 18 p.m. and 20 seconds, 21 seconds, 22 seconds. Okay, so what do <gasps> Ganesh? I'm not shy, I'm a talkative, I'm a talkative person. Cool. Do do do. Oh, it's difficult to make friends. Yes. Hey, this is like, it's, it's a group. No, you're just giving an example. It's difficult to make friends. Ah, okay. You need to change. I can see people. They've given an answer. The tense is not correct. I can see it's not do and it's not did. I can see. So quickly copy your answer and change the tense. <laughs> <laughs> Copy your comment and, and change the tense in there. So that's not do. I do this activity. I did this activity. Ah, thank you, master. Here we go. Oz. Not from Australia, are you? <clears throat> I have 
No, you wouldn't have been able to get it correct. That's right, man. I have done this activity many times with an S since I've been here. Why do we use I have done? And why, or I have made an activity? No, you don't make an activity. You do an activity, okay? You do an activity. But why did we use the perfect tense here? I have done this activity many times since I've been here, okay? When we have the since, we often, not always, we normally use the perfect tense, the present perfect tense, which means I have been doing this lesson since one o'clock. It's from that time in the past until now, exactly. So it is, I have done this activity many times. Yeah, it's like it's experience. So something you've done in the past and that it continues up until this point right now. Exactly. So that was number six. How many, okay, some of you haven't, you got five out of six, some of you. Who's got six out of six? Let's have a look. And there's a prize for whoever gets the most answers correct. Don't know what the prize is. Probably something terrible, but okay. Uh, yep, you're still doing the activity now, maybe. Yeah, could be. Okay, let's have a look. Um, oops, wrong one. I need to go into this one, this one. That was number six. <gasps> oh. Can you beep me a favor? What goes there? Can you... This is such a comprehensive topic I needed. That's the idea. The objective of these um, live lessons is for you to practice. It's the to use your English with the channel members. You know, we've got the, the the not just the subscribers, but the channel members. Every now and then, we get together and we can talk live online. But that's for the channel members. Okay, so let's have a look. Can you, oops, where is it? Yeah, exactly, uh, Andrade. Uh, present perfect is something that happened in the past but has a connection with the present. Exactly. Um, do, 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 I don't know. Yes! Is that number six or seven? Anyway, <laughs> can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor, please? Can you do me a favor? I think, yeah, it was number seven, it doesn't matter. Can you do me a favor? You do a favor, not make a favor. And remember, favor, there are two ways of writing it. it can be with an O in American English, and then you have the O-U in British English. If some, yeah, if someone can write that, it'd be fine. So what else we got there? Can you do me a favor? Make, 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 do, make. Can you do me a favor? Exactly. Can you do? Okay, everyone's asking for a favor. What do you want, what do you want me to do? Do I really want to see these questions, the, the responses? Probably not. <laughs> I'll get them. There. There'll be lots of wonderful things. Hello. Good morning to you. It's afternoon here. Oh, it must be morning. Must be in Southeast Asia somewhere. Okay, next one. Number. Okay. This never happens to me, but I don't like, ooh, can you do me a favor? Yeah. I don't like, ah, I don't like mistakes. Okay. Let me, let me, let me see. There's actually a part missing. I can see you've got the right verb between do versus make. But what is the form? Aha. Exactly. Oops, what I just yeah, I don't like. Here it is. Making. Yeah. Look at this one. I don't like making mistakes. Why did we put making and not make? I don't like to make mistakes. It's a possibility, but it's not common. It's more common to say I don't like making because after the verb like and love and hate, we normally have the gerund, which is a verb ing. I like painting. I like drinking. I like talking. I like whatever. Verb ing. Okay. 
So for example, I don't like making mistakes. So be careful. In all of these quiz things, just so you know, you've got to change the form also. It's not just do, make. It could be anything. So I don't like making mistakes. It has never happened to me ever in my entire life, not even at the beginning of the stream where I had some music on. <laughs> it never happens. It's just yeah, glitches in the matrix. Okay, so I don't like making mistakes. Exactly. Um, so also when they're, yeah, it's like when you have two verbs together, the second verb is ah, an infinitive. Can you do me a favor? You're true. Did I say something true? I don't know what it was. There's probably only one thing today. Everything else I just invent. <laughs> no, Lolly, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, ever I make mistakes. No, I don't. <laughs> Perfection is just part of me. <laughs> I may not also tell the truth. <laughs> okay, next one. So yeah, I don't like making mistakes. Next one is what number are we at? Number number nine. I didn't have time to. Boop, a cake for Ange. <laughs> I didn't have time to, to what? To buy a cake? <laughs> you think I'm going to make it? Oh, I just give the answer there. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I didn't have time to buy it, cake. Okay, what, what, what's the correct answer? I didn't have time to what? Remember, it's food. So when it's food, like, in, or drinks, with food or drinks, we use make. Ooh. <laughs> yes, technically it could be possible, but no. It's either do or make in one of its forms. I didn't have time to. It's a piece of cake. Huh? We need a verb in here. <gasps> I didn't have time to lolly. I didn't have time. You make a cake. Okay. I didn't have time to make a cake. Make a cake. Just remember, make a cake. Oh, I like this one. Look at this one here. It's even got one of the I didn't have time to make a cake because it's the infinitive. To make a cake. But I love the cake symbol there. I love those. <laughs> Ange is crying right now because no one's made a cake for her or bought one or anything. I did I did actually buy a cake, but I sort of ate it before I got home. <laughs> Technicalities. <laughs> Said the unicorn. <laughs> okay. Uh, make, make. Uh, okay, next one. That was number nine. Let's go to, oh, let's go to the next one. I get distracted. I don't want to. Mm, That's what a little kid says. And sometimes students. <laughs> I don't want to boop anything right now. No, I'm not going to do it. No, no, no. I don't want to boop anything right now. What's your answer? Yeah, I can see. Got some do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. It sounds like you're all singing in harmony. Like do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to, okay. Was it baby shark? Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now you're going to think, think of that song, baby shark. Do, do, do. <laughs> now you're all going to hate me. <laughs> Those that are awake now at three o'clock in the morning, I'm sorry, because you're going to have baby shark in your brain <laughs> and you won't be able to go to sleep. <laughs> I should change the lessons to evil English. <laughs> okay. Uh, here we go, and where is the full answer? Thank you, Lolly, you wonderful person. That's awake at 3 o'clock in the morning in France with baby shark up here. <laughs> I don't want to do anything. Why do, we not, why do we say do anything? Why? Why do we say that? Because any time we have the, like, thing, like anything, something, nothing, Blah, 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 thing, just thing. They're not specific. And since they're not specific, we use do. For example, here. 
uh, non-specific activities, do something, do nothing, do anything, do everything. That was the other one I couldn't remember. Okay. So I don't want to do anything right now. Exactly. Minerva also. I don't want to do anything right now. No, I just want to sleep for 20 days. Okay. Um, yep. Lots of answers. Good answers. Wagner, Miguel. Okay. Next one. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to make a cake right now. Ah, you don't like Ange. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. <laughs> Noted. Noted. <laughs> You can buy it. You can buy one. <laughs> and says you can buy one. <laughs> okay, next one. Um, do... <laughs> Thanks for keeping you awake for the rest of the night. You're welcome. Next one. <clears throat> Banners. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yep. There's a chicken. <laughs> for Spanish speakers, you can know Chilean speakers. True story. I burp a big mess last night. It wasn't me. It was, it was the unicorn. <laughs> it was someone else. It wasn't me. I didn't make the big, I didn't mm, I just give the answer. <laughs> There's no hope for me. I didn't have time to make a cake for Angie. That's a, that's a, what's that song from? Rolling Stones. And no, you just about you try to get me to sing. I know what you're doing there. So what did you do? <clears throat> Sorry. Hey, Lolly, what did you do last night? I made a big mess last night. Really? That's <laughs> but we need to change the tense. What is the tense? Minerva. I made a big mess last night. How did that happen? How did someone else made a big mess last night? Wow, so many people were making big. What were you doing? What was everyone doing? And Oz comes in with the answer. Yes, have you been drinking? No, it wasn't me. Last night, I neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> I made a mess, big mess last night. Yes, all of you. I made a big lit man. Blah, 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 blah. I made a big mess last night, and I've got the big mess in my mouth right now. Ugh. Exactly, I made a big mess. La make, <laughs> you did it again. <laughs> it's like copy it. Ah, there it is. No, no. <sighs> okay, next one. Um, oh, Larissa, make sure you. Does on his desk every time, as my husband does on his, he, your husband makes a mess on his desk every time. Everything's t untidy, disordered, I suppose. <laughs> okay, next one. Uh, number, number 12. That's right. Number 12. Is what the neighbors say. <laughs> Stop. If it's the person in the next room. Next room. <laughs> Stop. Okay. What's the answer for number 12? And while you're writing your answer, I'm going to have a sip of my wonderful tea. <laughs> I made a cup of tea. Yep, I can see the correct answer. Almost. You have to change the tense, Lolly. You have to change this tense. Just I've got I've seen the answers correctly. Stop making so much noise, but someone was first. Seven dogs. Not eight dogs, seven dogs. Stop making so much noise. And why did <laughs> I made a big mess in the round 11. <laughs> Around 11. <laughs> Just like thinking what was going to happen. Stop making, stops making so much noise. Exactly. So why do we say stop making? If we have the verb stop, after the verb stop, stop, stop saying. A typical video, stop saying this, stop saying that. You can say what you like, whatever you're comfortable with. Anyway. Ignore those videos because you can say, like, stop saying you're welcome. You can say you're welcome is perfectly fine. But anyway, stop 
saying stop making after the verb stop you can put you have to have the gerund which is the verb ing oh thank you minerva yes that's the reason <laughs> i was actually gonna yeah stop as i said stop plus gerund stop doing stop making stop eating stop drinking stop drinking stop drinking <laughs> stop doing whatever stop farting <laughs> the verb is ing stop <laughs> Stop <laughs> confusing people or confessing or confusing or confessing. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So stop making so much noise. <laughs> I don't know what the noise is, but just stop making so much noise. And the reason, because, and the question is, why not doing? Great question. That's because. Whenever we have, is that a, oh yeah, here it is, the bottom. We're speaking in sounds, we say make a noise, make a comment, make a speech, make a suggestion, okay? These are all speaking in sounds. So whenever there's sound or anything like that, we use the verb make, okay? There'll be a little video about this next week, like Tuesday, I think, okay? So also another example stop complaining stop complaining <laughs> okay next one um what are we at? that was number 12. wow those birds were really loud um oh hang on, what's this oh what i just do <gasps> just lost everything here it is uh here's a like i stopped going i stopped going exactly i stopped going easy with my english i stopped because it's the past tense going there it is the, the the gerund ing okay so what was the question no number 13 here it is i haven't given you the question but it's true i love beep, these exercises what is the correct answer i love beep, these exercises what do you got i shall have another sip I love because someone someone's got doing and doing doing I'm going to wait for the complete sentence here Oops Jew was the first one with that correct but oh, here it is thank you Jew I love doing exercises or I love doing these exercises I love doing these exercises thank you everyone for letting me know Oh no you're just copying the sentence not true okay <laughs> I love to why again love and like again love and like and hate I hate doing these exercises I like doing these exercises I love boom 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 I love doing these exercises okay love plus the gerund I love loving that sounds strange <laughs> anyway I love uh doing these exercises love just going through them all <laughs> i love watching these exercises you're not doing them you're just just watching these exercises it's just like ah, just everyone else do it for me thank you very much yeah another example great example i love going for a walk me too i love going for walks and sometimes i take photos of them and i just upload them somewhere um i love doing oh everyone loves doing these exercises thank you Thank you. I appreciate your I, I pre, uh, this example sentence. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. Uh, number 14. <gasps> One second. I just have to beep a phone call. One second. I just have to ignore a phone call. <laughs> it's like, oh, your partner. I, I, this is what this is what Jorge said. <laughs> One second. I'm just going to ignore a phone call. It's raw. And I'm just, <laughs> that's rob damn ignore no i'm just going but i'm going to call someone else what do i say i just have to beep a phone call <laughs> yep i can see some <laughs> so true exactly it's damn rob block at least i'm not blocked <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, here it is. Thank you, Minerva. Oh, Minerva. Here it is. One second. 
I just have to, you make a phone call. You make a call or a phone call. What are the types of calls? Because if you say, I have to make a call, it's like Tarzan. Oh, that was, it sounds like Tarzan sick there, but you know, you understand. Tarzan was sick today. He couldn't be present. So <laughs> one second, I have to make a phone call. You don't need to say a telephone. No one says telephone call because that's like ancient times. Um, exactly. ED, phone home. He like, I used to make phone calls in my previous jobs. It's like, are you one of those workers like, hello, my name's Wagner Lock. Is that a type of job phone call or is it another type? <laughs> okay, one second. I just have to make a phone call. Exactly. Next one is number uh, 14. Number 15. We've got plenty of time, I hope, for this one. <gasps> Unfortunately, Unfortunately, the storm, boop, some damage to their car. Be careful of the tents here. Be very careful of the tents. Just while I'm waiting for the answers, exclusive live for channel members. Next week, English grammar lesson for Woodward members. Adjectives ending in ED and ING. Next week. Just so you know, if you're a channel member, uh, we're going to be live on Wednesday, my time. So it's probably like Tuesday, your time. A lesson about adjectives ending in ed and ing, just so you know. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, oh, thank you, Krishna. Really appreciate it. Do, do, did. This one is quite tricky. Exactly. Um, yes, Larissa, you've got it correct. Just so you know, Lilian, click the button that fast forwards you. Put Click the live button. You might be behind us a little bit. Yes, thank you, Minerva. Unfortunately, the storm did some damage, okay? Did some damage. Why? Because it's do damage. Always do damage or did damage or done damage or using the, a form of verb, you do damage. <gasps> you did damage to my heart. Nah, you hurt my heart. <laughs> you do damage to something. Um, oh, that's a good one. Thank you, Oz. Oh, where is it? Missed it. Unfortunately, the, the storm has done some damage also to my car. It got hit by lightning. It got hit by lightning without the E. Got hit by lightning. That was using the perfect hands. Brilliant. Oops, going quickly. Has damaged. Unfortunately, the storm has made some damage. No, done. Did. Here it is. Here's another one. <laughs> I'm wrong again. The best thing is to make mistakes. That is how you learn. You never, like if you put your finger in <laughs> with electricity, it's you learn very quickly from that mistake. Don't do it at home, folks. Okay. But you're learning a lot from this lesson, and that's why we're here. Okay. So unfortunately, the storm did some damage. We used did because it's the past tense. It happened in the past. Unless you like predicting, the storm will do some damage to my car. I made this prediction, but you don't use that. Okay, thanks. Thank you, Minerva, for appreciate. Really appreciate it. Okay, next one is number sixteen. Uh, one second, just gotta find it. And number sixteen is all the way down here. Boom. I haven't. <gasps> Ah, I thought it was homework. It's not homework. The housework yet. I haven't what the housework yet. What is that? I haven't. Beep. Be careful of the tens. Okay. Be careful of the tens. One second. Go back here. Comments. Who we got? 
It was done before you said, eh, do, do, dun, dun, dun. Ooh. Ah, look at this. Brilliant. Brilliant answer here from Lolly. No mistake there. I haven't done the housework yet. Oh, you haven't done the housework yet. Ah, how many other people are? <laughs> uh, the present perfect tense? Exactly. You use the present perfect tense in there. Why? Why do we use the present perfect tense in this sentence? I haven't done the present, uh, I haven't done the homework yet. No, homework, housework. Why? Why do we have haven't done? Why is that? Because you're lazy. Because you're lazy? <laughs> I haven't done the housework yet. No, why is the verb? <laughs> why is the verb done? We know because we have haven't. And we if we have the word haven't, the auxiliary haven't, we know we need the perf um, the past participle there, which means have plus past participle is the perfect tense. And what is the past participle of do? It is done. Okay. And the reason is because it is an unfinished action. Okay. I haven't done it yet. The, the clue is yet when you have yet oh, put my finger up there <laughs> with yet it's we often use the perfect tense i haven't been to the doctor yet i haven't studied yet i haven't eaten my cake yet the one that was for and but <laughs> i haven't eaten the cake yet exactly because of the yet that's a simple explanation perfect tense okay so i haven't done what's the difference between housework and homework they sound the same but they're Strangely, they were really different. Housework or homework? What's the difference? Like, yeah. Housework, you clean the house and make sure it's e -u -e -u -e -u, all shiny and tidy. And homework is the thing you have to do every time. No exception, no excuses. It's the work that you get from your school, institute, or teacher. I haven't done anything yet anything i haven't done anything i've done nothing i've done nothing wasn't me i've done nothing wasn't me i haven't done anything yet because the yet has a, a, a negative connotation okay so i haven't done anything so when, when it's negative we use anything i haven't done the homework yet they totally work yeah so housework House walk, house work is chores. House work, be careful. And next one. Uh, one second, just close that. Oh, I'm missing everything. That is number 16. Go to number 17. Where is it? Here it is. Where boop plans for the long weekend. When's the next long weekend here? It's like. A couple of months from now, maybe. No, not that makes a difference because I work hard. I work every day. Next one. Where you like? Ah, thank you, please. No, you like the way I speak. Sometimes I speak very quickly. It's Woodward. It's Woodward. <laughs> Correction from the executive producer. I like the way Mr. Woodward speaks. Thank you. But when I'm live, I speak very quickly. I speak naturally like a native speaker. I am a native speaker, but I speak normal. So thank you, Chris. No, I really appreciate it. Um, oh, look at this one. Let us uh, housework is work in the house. Homework is from school. Oh, exactly. And next one is your answer. Where do no, no one's got this answer yet. Where Bob plans for the long weekend? What is the answer? Please let me know. Oh, look, there's a bit of a shadow here. Well, <laughs> I've got the shine on my forehead. <laughs> um, we're making, ah, perfect, Jewel. We're making plans, plural, because it's not just one plan. We're not making a plan. We're making many plans for the long weekend. We're going to... Sit on the cell phone and drink tequila. Sit on the cell phone and drink. <laughs> no, we're making more plans. We're also going to eat cake. <laughs> we're making plans for the weekend. Brilliant. 
We're making plans for the weekend. Okay, next one is number that was 17. Number because you make plans and decisions. <gasps> Don't eat that. It will boop. You sick. Number 18. What's the answer? Thank you, Lettuce. Uh, so difficult to stay awake. I know you can watch it later. I know it's very, very late there. I really appreciate it. But remember, very soon, maybe in two weeks from now, it'll be at a, a more decent hour for everyone in Europe and Africa, just so you know. But thank you anyway. Really appreciate it. So we have, don't eat that. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't, don't, don't eat that. It will... <laughs> <laughs> yes it will make you sick something makes you sick okay don't eat that it will don't eat that it will make you sick something can make you happy make you sick it will make you crazy oh you make me crazy i've heard that before I will, it will make you, I will make you, I will make you sick, it will make you sick. Be careful. Um, yeah, so don't eat that. It will make you sick. It will make, if it makes you, is that a song? If it makes you happy, it can't be that bad. If it makes you, do, do, yeah, I'm not, not going to sing, not going to sing. Um, ah, exactly. Also, don't drink that. It'll make you sick. But some people ignore it, don't they? Jorge. <laughs> it depends on the volume. 19. Here it comes. It isn't difficult to beep the right thing. What is the answer? It isn't difficult to... It isn't difficult to beep the right thing. Where are the answers? Where, where, where's the answers? Waiting. Some people got make, some people got do. Is it for this one? Right, number 19 or the question? Ah, it isn't difficult. Ooh, thank you. It isn't difficult to do the right thing. People, the millions of people watching right now. <laughs> it isn't difficult to do the right thing. Do the right thing always. Don't do it halfway or wrong. Just do the right thing in your life. The world will be such a better place. It isn't difficult to do the right thing, people. It isn't difficult to do the right thing. Exactly. True. Just do the right thing. Don't cheat. Don't copy. Don't steal. Don't do the thing. Just do the right thing. Um, number 19, ooh, 20. <sighs> she boop a promise she could not keep. <laughs> what happened? Has this happened? Has someone made a... <laughs> <sighs> oh, I'm hopeless. Hmm. Okay, what's the answer? She, a promise she could not keep. What is the answer? What is the answer? She, yes, Andrade's got it right, correct. Who else? Dina or Dina, also. Here it is. Oops, just went quickly. Yes, she made, ooh, past tense. Needs to be past tense here. Here it is. Lolly, she made a promise she could not keep. <gasps> what was that promise? I will love you forever. Oh, <laughs> I will always love you. Oh, no, she didn't keep it. <laughs> what, what, what was the promise she did not keep? What do you think? <laughs> I'm not going to. She drank all of the kilo. Oh, I'm, not, I'm only going to have a little bit. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, she made a promise she could not king. <laughs> the answer was linked. Exactly. She made a promise she could not keep. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh.
please make videos for teachers. That's what I do. I make videos for teachers and for students. These lives are for students to practice and interact and everything like that. Uh, she made a promise. <laughs> no, marrying him. <laughs> I'm going to marry you. I promise. No, it didn't happen. What else? <laughs> she promised to make a cake. Yes, and it didn't happen. <laughs> Don't promise anyone the stars. <laughs> uh, okay, next one, number 21. We're gonna, we're gonna do this quickly. Is there anything I can boop to help you? <laughs> Is there anything I can drink to help you? <laughs> Is there anything I can eat to help you? Is there anything I can eat to help you? I can. What what's the what's the correct answer? Yes, I can see one correct answer. How many more? Another one with Sandra, Jew. Who else? Is there anything I can do? Exactly. Anything. Make sure it's one word. Is there anything I can do? Uh, is there anything, is there anything I can do to help you? Is there anything I can do to help you? Exactly. My personal name is Rob. I always start, hi, it's Rob here from Woodward English and I'm gonna say lots of stupid things and get into trouble. <laughs> My name is Rob Woodward. There it is. That's my name, Rob Woodward. Yeah. That's, that's not my name. Yeah, that is my name. <laughs> is there anything I can do to help you? Yes, there is something you can do to help me. Please click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you know. Yeah, click the like button. That'll be great. Oh, that's the question. Sorry. Yeah. And leave, leave comments. Let other people know about us. Okay, Lolly, here it is. Is there anything I can do to help? Do, do, do. Do do be do it. There's a oh no, there's that shark song again, the baby shark. You just reminded me, Lolly. Anyway, next one, 22. Oh, ooh, this one's hard. The clocks were boop, in Switzerland. What is the correct answer? What is the correct answer? Is there, or oh, you can put it up if you like. Is there anything I can do? Let me say, don't worry, Chris, no, don't worry. <laughs> I have been called all types of things, and <laughs> whatever. Um, oh, I can actually, Sandra, you've got this, introduce yourself. I can't show it on the screen because otherwise it looks like this. Ah, when there's lots of emojis. <laughs> So, yes, my name is Rob. I'm from New Zealand. That's it. That's my introduction. Um, here it is. Um, hey, 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 hey. Oh, here it is. The clocks were made in Switzerland. Perfect. Exactly. Because it's got the passive voice. They were made in Switzerland. Perfect. Yes, if they're made in Switzerland, they're probably expensive too. The clocks were made. We don't say fabricated, they were made, were made. Okay, we're gonna do one more to make it like a really odd number, 23. Um, ooh, she's her nails right now. I know the answer, she's biting. No, she's not biting her nails right now. What is she doing? She is, what is she doing? She's. Her nails, biting, filing. That's a good one. But I want to do or make. She's, I'm filing my nails. It's like the cat. <laughs> yes, she's doing her nails right now. I don't know what she's doing. She's probably like painting her nails. That's what we don't know. We don't know if she's painting 
We don't know if she's filing or she's biting. We don't know. So we're just saying she's doing her nails right now. Exactly. And I just want to double check one other thing. Okay, one, just, just one more, one more, 24. <laughs> What is the answer to this one? Hammering her nails. <laughs> She's hammering her nails right now. Exactly. She's building a house for the for the husband, a dog house. Okay. <laughs> polish. You can polish. Yeah. Yeah. You don't paint your nails. You polish. No. You. Polish your nails. Yeah, polish is like you're putting a shine on this. You paint your nails. Anyway, exactly. Remember, everyone, make love, not war. <laughs> make love, not war. It's like a said expression. It is. It's a hippie expression. Yeah, yeah, brother. Yeah, bro. <laughs> peace, love, and good happiness stuff. Yeah, yeah. Peace, love, and click that like button now, now. <laughs> okay, we well, got to go check some of these 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 banners and things here that we're gonna put up there. So remember, next week, same time and same channel, we have a live English quiz for everyone. It's a surprise. You don't know what it is, but if you look at the thumbnail, it says "excited" or "exciting." Oh. What could the lesson be about? Join me next week. Please let other people know. Uh, uh, same time, same channel. Oh, also, the channel members on Wednesday, my time, Tuesday, your time, if you're in South America. Adjectives ending in E-D-I-N-G. It's a, it's a lesson. It's not going to be a conversation or anything. It's going to be a full English lesson. And you'll be like, Brilliant, exclusively for channel members. Anyway, thank you, everyone, for joining in today. I appreciate participation. Please let other people know about us. Leave comments, leave your likes, and everything like that. It really helps the channel, and that's what we need. Help us out. I really appreciate it. Okay? So thank you. Oh, Helen, you just missed it. Unfortunate. Next time. It's always same time, same day every week same time same day every week so wherever you are it's the same time okay thank you oz for keeping me entertained too with your wonderful comments i appreciate your comments in the in the normal videos too they make me laugh and that's good looking forward to the next session same time thank you lolly for being awake at this terrible hour and don't think about baby shark doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you. Much appreciated. And I will be in the chat just for a little moment more just to see the final comments. But until next time, same time, same day, same wonderful channel, Wooden English. Have an awesome day.